What is up guys? My name is Mark Sedamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Guys, in quarantine, don't have much to do. Finally have time to build my Techno MT410. I know guys, I've had it for a while. I bought it a while back, but now I'm getting, actually have the time to sit down and grind it out. I, what's funny is I actually had this plan of just having this kit and just work on it whenever I have free time. It's such a fun kit to build. Like I literally grinded it out to this section or this much um, in about maybe four hours. I mean, it was pretty freaking quick, but it's everything you can expect from a techno build. The directions were clear and concise. Everything went together perfectly. It was a fun build. When I'm done with this, I believe this is gonna be, and in my opinion, this will be the ultimate and the best RC monster truck you can buy. It is the durability of a Truggy, and not only is it the durability of Truggy, it's the durability of the most durable Truggy out there. The front and rear clips are identical to the Techno, uh, uh, <sighs> the front and rear clips are identical to the Techno ET48.3. So you're gonna get about the same durability. It's essentially the front and rear clips of a Techno ET48.3 and then a the chassis of the SCT4 10.3. It's it's look how look it's almost like a square. I mean this is gonna be a back flipping machine with incredible durability. I mean this thing is built like a tank. So a few notes on the build the diff fluids that came with the kit I'm building this thing box stock. I tried to build it without looking at the manual, but I had to look at the manual because I needed to figure out the box stock setup. But the diff fluids that came with this thing, it came with, I believe it was 100K and 50K. It was basically like diff paste. So what that's telling me is it's gonna have some pretty solid four bite, and it's gonna be, a, again, it's gonna be able to turn the wheel so much, so fast, it's not gonna diff out. It's gonna, it should backflip. I should be able to do like triple backflips with this thing. I saw Joe doing backflips with his, I mean, it is gonna be a back flipping, uh, just a flipping machine in general. Uh, the oil that it's using is 700 front and rear, which is perfect. Um, that was one thing I was thinking I would wanna do is kind of stiffen up the oil. The suspension seems stiff. I mean, it looked like Techno really got it right when it came to setup for a monster truck. A few side notes when you're building this thing, it does come with the shock parts that are on the, the parts tree. So the reason why I'm saying that is you wanna get a nail file, which I have a nail file right here. And you want to file down the, the little excess plastic on the side of the shock parts. You want to make sure you file it down really smooth because the pistons will actually, if it has a little bit of plastic sticking out, the pistons will actually bind a little bit. And also the shock parts inside the, uh, like that are sitting, that basically sandwich the O-rings. You want to make sure those are grinded down so they fit good. It's a pretty normal thing. Um, you should have to do that anyways if you're working with parts trees. So one thing I was really curious about with the MT410 was I was wondering if it was gonna have all the plastic pieces like the SCT410. And when I say plastic pieces, I'm talking about like the, it had, a, the SCT410 doesn't have the anodized aluminum shock towers. It has like just regular steel shock towers or it wasn't like the race kit stuff. And also the blocks, the A, B, C, and D block, they were plastic on the, the SCT410. On the MT410, they are not. They are. They basically came with, again, almost exactly what the ET48.3 came with. So you're gonna get the good quality stuff with the MT410. I typically don't run all the braces, the chassis braces on my truck. I'm gonna run it on this because obviously we're gonna want some rigidity. We're gonna be bashing this thing. It's gonna get wrecked pretty freaking bad. So in regards to the electronics, I'm gonna run this thing. I'm gonna pull the electronics out of my E-Revo 1.0. So it's gonna have a cat, it's gonna have that Traxxas castle brushless system in it to 2600 so it's gonna have a crap ton of power i'm gonna run a 4s i'm not gonna run the stock tracks as servo i just don't feel like the tracks servo is strong enough so i'm gonna run a protex servo and i'll do a, a video on the servo i'm gonna i chose to run it's actually kind of interesting and then also in regards to the receiver and uh, transmitter i am <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna hate me for this but I am gonna bind it to a uh, Traxxas TQI receiver. I wanna do this build as much as I can, as closest to someone who has an RTR truck and wants to just transition into the ultimate monster truck. Um, that's my goal for this. So we'll see how that fits in there and we'll see how it performs that way. So this is it guys, this is it. I will hopefully finish this thing super soon. I wanted to do a quick video on an intro to this build because the next one is gonna be me driving this thing. I have. Proline monster truck tires already in stock. I mean, I have pretty much everything. The only thing I'm not sure about at this point is the body because it. I don't know what body I'm gonna run. I, I'm not sure. 
I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I'm hoping the Revo body fits right on there. That's what I'm gonna try at first. But yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell because there's gonna be more videos on this thing. I'm gonna do a video on the servo that I'm gonna run on this next, but yeah, this is gonna be awesome, guys. If you like this video, guys, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.